The Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, which is celebrated every September 15th, commemorates the seven sorrows which the Blessed Virgin Mary lived in relation to her Son, Jesus Christ, as they are recorded in the Gospels all through tradition. According to the Gospel of Luke, Mary and Joseph took the infant Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. There they encountered Simeon, the just and devout man of Jerusalem. The Gospel records that Simeon had been promised that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ, as written in Luke chapter 2 verses 29 to 32. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people, Israel. Simeon then prophesied to Mary, as written in Luke chapter 2 verses 34 to 35. Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that faults out of many hearts may be revealed. When the Magi came in search of Jesus, they went to Herod the Great in Jerusalem to ask where to find the newborn King of the Jews. Herod became paranoid that the child would threaten his throne and sought to kill him. Herod then ordered the massacre of the innocents, in hopes of killing the child. But an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and warned him to take Jesus and his mother into Egypt, as stated in Matthew chapter 2 verses 16 to 18. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When Jesus was twelve, Mary and Joseph accompanied him and a large group of their relatives and friends to Jerusalem on pilgrimage, according to the custom of Passover. On the day of their return, Jesus stayed in the temple, but Mary and Joseph thought that he was among the group, Luke chapter 2 verses 45 to 50. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem. After three days, they found Jesus in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. All who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. When they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. And he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. The Via Dolorosa is a processional route in the old city of Jerusalem, which represents the path that Jesus would have taken, forced by the Roman soldiers, on the way to his crucifixion. It is today marked by the 14 stations of the cross. After arriving at Golgotha, Jesus was offered wine mixed with myrrh or gall to drink. Both the Gospel of Mark and the Gospel of Matthew record that he refused this. He was then crucified and hung between two convicted thieves. According to the Gospel of Mark, he endured the torment of crucifixion until his death. The soldiers affixed a sign above his head stating, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, and then divided his garments and cast lots for his seamless robe. The depictions of this scene include John the Evangelist, who is sometimes depicted supporting a fainting Mary and Mary Magdalene. The Gospels mention an undefined number of women as watching the crucifixion, and also that the Virgin Mary and Mary Magdalene saw the burial. According to the canonical Gospel narratives, Jesus was placed in a tomb by a counselor of the Sanhedrin named Joseph of Arimathea, often called the Entombment of Christ. It is said that on the day of the crucifixion, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pontius Pilate for Jesus's body. After Pilate granted his request, he wrapped his body in a linen cloth and laid it in a tomb. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.